it's important to ensure that your tenancy agreement does not prevent you from achieving the dreams and goals that you have in your mind. As a startup, as your business grows, there will come a point in time when you no longer can work from your garage and you would have to rent a place. In this video, we'll be covering five key issues that you should look out for as a startup when you're signing your first tenancy agreement. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm a startup lawyer. And my name is Swang. I'm a disputes lawyer from Eugene Tourisingham. In this video, we'll be covering five key provisions in your tenancy agreement. First, termination provisions. Second, fit for purpose clauses. Third, security deposit. Fourth, maintenance conditions. And fifth, return conditions. First, on termination provisions. Broadly speaking, there are two types of termination provisions. Termination with cause provisions and termination without cause provisions. What termination with cause provision means that if you do something naughty, either party can terminate the tenancy agreement. Termination without cause provisions allows both parties to terminate the agreement with some notice. Now, Swang, if my tenancy agreement does not contain any termination without cause provisions, can I terminate the agreement early? In a situation where the tenancy agreement is for a fixed term, such as it being specified to be for 24 months, generally, you will not be able to terminate it early if there is no such termination without cause provision. In such a situation, uh, the tenant will need to find some serious breach by the other party, the landlord, in order to get an excuse to terminate the contract early. This reminds me of a case I'm currently acting in. The landlord was frustrated that the tenant was not paying up the rent in time. And the landlord, without seeking legal advice, just went and locked up the premises. The tenant then took advantage of this and say, Aha! Because you have locked up the premises, therefore, the tenancy had come to an end and therefore, I shouldn't be liable to pay you rent for the time after you have locked up the premises. From a contract perspective, we would encourage startups to have a termination without cost provision if there is a possibility that you may wish to terminate your tenancy agreement before the fixed term. This allows you freedom to rent a bigger premise if your setup grows faster than expected, as well as to end the contract a bit earlier if things didn't work out so well. The second issue we'll cover in this video is fit for purpose provisions. Every founder has a different vision for their company. Some founders would like to enable their employees to bring their pets to work. Other founders would like to have renovations conducted or perhaps a hybrid workplace environment. In this case, it's important to ensure that your tenancy agreement does not prevent you from achieving the dreams and goals that you have in your mind. So Swang, if my tenancy agreement has a no pets provision and I really want to bring my pet meow to the workplace, what can I do? Well, generally, even if you breach the contract, the courts are more indulgent to tenants and so long as the tenants remedy their breach of the contract, the courts will likely not allow the landlord to terminate the contract. The third issue that's commonly negotiated in a tenancy agreement is the security deposit. The security deposit typically represents three to six months of the rent that you owe potentially to the landlord. Now, Song, do you have any horror stories relating to security deposits? Well, in many of the cases I handle, at the end of the tenancy, the landlord will suddenly allege that there are so many defects in the entire premises that the landlord has to incur much expenses to remedy. And then the landlord will use that as an excuse to say, I will hold on to your security deposit because I need to spend all this money. And of course, understandably, the tenant in these situations will be very aggrieved because this is just an excuse by the landlord. If I disagree with the landlord on how he's dealing with my security deposit, what can I do? In such a situation, tenant may have not much option but to bring formal proceedings against the landlord for the return of the deposit. There are two proceedings that you can choose to bring. Uh, you can either choose to bring it in the small claims tribunal. That applies if the claim quantum is lower than $20,000. But in the small claims tribunal, you are not allowed to appoint lawyers to help you. Or you can choose to bring the suit in the magistrate's court. The magistrate court is for claims under $60,000.
And in such a situation, parties are allowed to appoint lawyers to act for them in the proceedings. The fourth issue that you'd like to be aware of in a tenancy agreement is what relates to the maintenance of the premises. For example, if the toilet breaks down, who will be in charge of calling the plumber? Or if the air conditioning is leaking, would it be the landlord or tenant's responsibility? Sorting these issues out beforehand would prevent you from getting into a shitty situation. The fifth issue that is commonly contested in a tenancy agreement are the return conditions of the premises. Sometimes the landlord and tenant has a different understanding of what state and condition the premises should be in when they are returned. What happens if I don't want to return the premises and I actually want to renew the contract? Well, that depends on whether the contract contains what we call an option to renew clause. A clause which, if exercised, allows the tenant to stay on for a further term inside the premises on terms to be agreed on between the parties or even on the same terms as the existing tenancy agreement. We hope you enjoyed this video and you as a startup will be more confident when negotiating a tenancy agreement with your future landlord. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share and comment below if you have any good or wonderful or terrible stories to share. Until we next meet, stay safe and keep well.